will start again with the map location class. We will be working with the map locations for 2017. We will be covering all the contemporary locations. We have already covered the 2016 contemporary locations in 9 classes. Uh, now we will move forward with the 2017, uh, the IAS mains examination, uh, important map locations. The first important location is Akodra. Now Akodra is the India's first digital village. Uh, and it has been established, uh, this village lies in Sabarkanta district in Gujarat. So the first location is Akodra. The next location is Agra Itawa Highway. Now this Agra Itawa Highway is the Asia's longest cycle highway which has an exclusive track for cycling and this is of a length of around 207 kilometers. It would cover important religious and uh, tourist places on the way uh, and finally end on the uh, gate of Taj Mahal in Agra. So this is another important location, the cycle highway from Agra to Itawa. The next important location is Kamuthi. Now Kamuthi has been in news recently. Kamuthi lies in Tamil Nadu and it's the world's largest solar plant that would be established here. So, world's largest solar power plant in Kamuthi. Uh, this Kamuthi lies in Ramanathapuram district of Tamil Nadu. Next, Nagrota. Nagrota lies in Jammu and Kashmir. It was recently in news because of the recent firing that opened up in Jammu and Kashmir. Next location. Now, these are the major Patanjali food parks that, that are established and that are proposed to be established for 2017, Sonipat, uh, Sonitpur uh, Food Park by Patanjali, that's the Baba Ramdev Foundation, uh, has already started uh, in Assam. Then you have the main headquarters at Haridwar, you have Noida. Then there has been a kind of uh, uh, recent news where you have Mihan National Park in the Nagpur area, you have Amravati, Katol and a place in Vidarbha that would be picked up as another food park for Patanjali. The next is Nellore in Andhra Pradesh. Now next is Harik Pathan Lake and Firozpur. Now Firozpur was in news because the India's first amphibious bus project has been launched here. Amphibious bus project means the bus project, the bus that would be able to move both on water and land. So it's the first of its kind of an amphibious bus project that has been released in Firozpur in Punjab and this uh, is focused on the lake which is the Harik Pathan lake here. The next location is Palanpur and Khataraj. Now uh, the Prime Minister Modi recently inaugurated the India's largest cheese plant which is in the name of Banas Dairy, a subsidiary of Amul. And this Banas Dairy will have a new plant at Palanpur. The old cheese plant lies in Khataraj, again in Gujarat. So both of these are in Gujarat. The next is the Indus Water Treaty. As per the Indus Water Treaty, there are three hydropower projects that are recently in news. The first is the Saval Court, the Palakdul, Kul, uh, the Palakdul and the Bursar. Now Saval Kot lies on the Chenab river. So this is the main Indus river that flows through Jammu and Kashmir and parts of Pakistan. A tributary of Ch uh, Indus is Chenab which is this. And on the Chenab river you have the Saval Kot hydroelectric power plant which lies in the Ramban area. Then you have Palakdul which is on the tributary of Chenab river which is the Marusudhar river. And again the Bursar which lies at the border of Kishtavar and Doda and both of these are on the Marusudhar river. So you have Palakdul hydroelectricity plant and the Bursar hydroelectricity plant which are both located on the Marusudhar river and finally you have the Sawalkot hydroelectric power plant which is located on the Chenab river. Now next is Mirchipur. Now Mirchipur lies in Haryana. Now Mirchipur was in news because of the caste wars that uh, broke up and CRPF was immediately deployed in the region. It was a kind of conflict which started around 6 years back in uh, between the upper caste and the Dalits and that again gained momentum. 
So Mirjipur village was in news. The next is Nagarnar steel plant. Nagarnar steel plant has recently been started and been commissioned in Chhattisgarh. Chhattisgarh was separated from Madhya Pradesh in 2000 and Nagarnar is one of the steel plants that, will, that is being established here. Now next is Vicom. Vicom lies in Kerala. So you have the map of India highlighting the state of Kerala. In Kerala you have the Vicom in Kotiam district and this Vicom is the first solar plant, uh, solar powered boat services that it will inaugurate. So you would have all the boats that would be solar powered in Vicom district. The next location here is Chandipur. Chandipur uh, is a, a missile testing center and recently there was the launch of uh, uh, the cruise missile that is Nirbhaya from Chandipur. So it was a kind of subsonic cruise missile that was launched and uh, a similar format was launched by Pakistan which was named as Babar and America which was known as Tom Sayhawk and India launched a similar uh, missile that was the Nirbhay from the Chandipur range. The next location is Kumbakonam. Kumbakonam uh, is the location for the Sastra University and this Sastra University awarded the Ramanujan awards for mathematics. This award was given to two scholars, one was Kaisa Matomaki and another was Mesdik Redwell uh, for their outstanding works in uh, mathematics. So you have Kumbakonam which is the location for the Sastra University. The next is National Waterway 59. Now uh, we have already covered numerous waterways in our uh, map, uh, map location book. This waterway has been notified under 2016 and this waterway aims to connect the region of Kotiam to Vicom. We already talked about Vicom which was the region where you have the solar powered uh, boat services that were released and you have Kotiam to Vicom in Kerala which would be the national highway 59 which would provide internal route for uh, transportation and water as a main medium for transportation. The next is Tarankawal. Tarankawal lies in Punjab uh, in the Batinda district and this is the first place where the second generation ethanol would be produced. Uh, we have already covered this under the class on uh, the renewable energy in India where we have talked about the first generation and the second generation ethanol and the differences in the production of uh, second generation ethanol which mainly involves uh, lignocelluloids. Uh, cellulose for the production. So Tarankawal would be the first place for the uh, establishment of second generation ethanol power plant. Now next is Abdul Kalam Wheeler Island. This island has been named after Abdul Kalam and from this Abdul Kalam Wheeler Island uh, there was the launch of Agni 5 missile which took place and this island lies off the coast of Odisha. The next is Dehradun. Dharadun is the place where uh, Pradhan, uh, the recent Prime Minister uh, inaugurated the Chardam de uh, Highway Development Project and Dharadun lies in the district of, uh, sorry, state of Uttarakhand. Uh, again, the Chardam uh, Highway Development Project got its inauguration at Dharadun. The next is the Panna National Park. Now, the Kane Betwa interlinking of the river was recently in news. However, when this Kane Betwa link was proposed, that was interlinking of the two rivers, one was Kane and another was Betwa, the important element was the intermediary forest range, which was the Panna Forest Reserve in Madhya Pradesh, would be. So, here you have the Panna Forest Reserve, and this Panna Forest Reserve. Most of the land would be submerged under this project and it would be occupy nearly 8650 hectares of land under this project. So you have the interlinking of uh, Kane Betwa river and the Panna wildlife uh, the national park that is shown here. The next is Hinjali. Hinjali lies in Odisha and in Hinjali there is another village which is known as Sasan Ambagaon. And this Sasan Ambagao village was in news recently because uh, it would be launched as the Odisha's Adarsh village. 
or a kind of prototype village i would say so it was again in news and is an important location hinjali in odisha with the sasan ambagaon village the next is lanura lanura lies in jammu and kashmir and it's the first of its uh, first of its kind to go cashless so all the economy in lanura is now cashless through digital payments and e payments and it lies in badgaon district in jammu and kashmir with this we cover all the 20 com contemporary locations for the first class we will be covering more locations in the subsequent class uh, approximately we will be taking one class every month to continue the session till december we have also released the test series for 2017 for geography and essay and we will be releasing uh, for gs as well shortly so uh, if you have started answering those that's fine if you have not uh if i get the early fee early responses i'll be able to give more detailed and comprehensive feedback on those have a good day ahead